Idiot Adiremi Amosu. I'm an agricultural engineer and a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. My passion for skills development amongst the youth stems from my experience in the practice. I find that there are quite a number of um, young ones not knowing what to do and um, quite a number of them just hanging around. As you know, we have a very youthful country. Uh, over 55% of our uh, population is of the youth. And uh, you find that, that um, the dependency ratio of the country is high, about 86%, which means that quite a large number of the population is not contributing to the economy. And the only way we can get out of this is to train our youth to be skilled. And my passion for technical uh, skills development, of course I'm an engineer, so it will be towards that. I don't feel happy when I'm on site. I see so many of the artisans not of Nigerian origin. A lot of them come from other countries. And I feel that um, it's because there is a space there that's why they are able to, to play there. So what we need to do is to reposition the situation, redirect the situation, have a paradigm shift in our quality of education, whether formal and informal. And one of the ways to do the informal um, skills development is through um, engaging the youth in the field. And uh, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, the Keja branch, uh, create that, created that platform uh, in my honor to be able to train the youth in the technical space. And um, we have done about four editions now. Uh, this last one, we had 20 schools in the community here, right from um, Agege, Alimosho, Abeson, Ijayo, Jokuru. We had 20 schools that came and were able to impact in them. Uh, well, the project for this year was um, house wiring. Of course, um, three days is not enough, but at least we are able to expose them that there is something that is worth learning and improving their own self-worth. Uh, by the time we finish the third day, some of them also were already telling us that they are going to be going to sites to join um, the professional electricians to learn more. Um, we believe that um, over time, we will be able to have the program for more than three days. We, our target is to have three months and um, we are working towards that. Uh, with that, we will have so many other skills brought in place. We will talk about carpentry, we will talk about masonry, we will talk about um, form work making, we will talk about um, welding and fittings, we will talk about um, stone decorations and all that. These are areas that we, don't, we should engage our youth then and uh, we will be able to imp and they will be able to impact in the economy and reduce poverty. And uh, this, uh, this is one of the uh, SDG goals, reduce poverty, increase uh, quality of education, and also self-worth. I also feel that um, with this project skill and the young ones coming into the space, we will be able to reduce the unemployment of the youth in the community. As of now, you will agree with me that um, um, the labor force now has the youth there. From age 12, we already have them looking for what to do, how to earn an income to take care of the family. With this program now, we will, be, we will ensure that they are playing very well in the field and contributing to their family by being able to earn. We will also give them a, a sense of worth, a sense of well-being <coughs> well in the community. We will also be able to let them appreciate the job space of the adults. They will be able to play in that space as well. We will also be able to improve their quality of well-being of both themselves and their family. And then you agree with me that 
the youth are the easiest one to be unemployed and to be underemployed. And uh, for us to do all that, uh, be able to correct all this anomaly, I believe that um, engaging them in a, in a life worth sk lifeline slick skill will improve their self-worth. That is one of the things that um, uh, motivated me to be so much involved in the project skill um, for the youth. Next edition, we believe, is going to be in, in the field of the technical development. And we believe it will be larger. We, our target is to ensure that it's larger and it takes a longer period. We are working and we have been discussing with some of the stakeholders to join us so that we can have the program for more than three days. The target is three months so that by the end of the three months, they will have a better grasp of it and they can stand amongst equals in the society. Uh, the next edition, we, uh, we really didn't finish the house wiring. We really have not finished the house wiring. We will maybe, we will call it part two. Or we will also look at other aspects to introduce something new so that we can engage their curiosity. We'll be looking at maybe uh, tile, make tile laying, masonry or otherwise the committee will still look at it and um, but the major thing for next year is bigger better and more informed and educative the world today is going green the, wo the world today is going digital and um, we have to get the youth involved uh, today the the talk and the buzz in the te uh, technology field is smart and um, we cannot remove the, uh, the younger ones from the boss. So we feel that um, uh, engaging them at this age, making them to think of about smart city and technological driven uh, environment is just apt. And uh, you will see from the quality of the projects that um, they, they brought. Uh, you know, the program is two phase. They do a project and then we train them along the line. They had um, various interesting projects that is mind blowing. You talk about the, um, the pedestrian crossing. That one blew me away sincerely for the youth. At the junction where you have the traffic lights, the, the younger ones have the uh, um, permission to press the buzzer and the uh, traffic will be rerouted so that they can cross the road. In fact, by the time we finished the program, uh, some, uh, some of our stakeholders who are present were already interested in it being installed near schools so that the children can cross safely. Then there was another interesting one uh, on the farm, security smart, smart farm, let me call it that way. Um, they, they had sensors all over, for security that will trace any intruder coming in. And they had um, sensors on the uh, quality of the state of the water and the soil. And uh, if there is a low water level, the sensor will trigger and then the irrigation system will come up. All this you can assess on your phone. But uh, even if you are not on the phone, you can monitor your farm. This is very interesting to me. And then there is another one that had um, smart house, smart house with a smart um, waste disposal. Uh, the disposal is non-touch. It just senses you by the time you are getting near, the, it will open for you to trash whatever you have. This, these are some of the interesting things that these young ones, secondary school students were able to do. And they quite understood the, the, the principle behind it. If you interview them, they can interact with you very well and you know, with questions here and there. They were able to give um, um, sensible reasons for what uh, they had done. And also they were able to highlight where they can be utilized effectively. This is engaging the young minds at an early age. Uh, I feel very, very elated and uh, humbled with the quality of um, what the students brought as their school projects. 
Ah, we also had um, the teachers in, uh, in place with them. The, the teachers were there, although they were not involved, they were just there to guide. So everything was really done by the students. Already the Keja branch uh, has a, a mentorship program uh, geared towards um, young graduates and um, uh, in, the, in, the, in the engineering community. We are also already discussing to see whether we can include the secondary school students. But then, most of the projects that came in, quite a number of the stakeholders were very much interested and they are already interacting with some of the schools for further mentoring and um, guidance. I think uh, gradually we will also be able to have a mentorship program for the secondary school, both for the teachers and for the students. My name is Idiot Adire Miyamusu. I'm an agricultural engineer and a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers.